Okay, so we've discussed compound probability, but now let's get into independent probability. Independent probability is when we find the probability of each event with replacement between each pick. So that means that the probability of the first event is independent of the probability of the second event. Now we see this type of probability most often with a uh, spinner. So you'll have your fair spinner and it might have five different events. If I spin and land on green, I'm not going to remove green. We also see it on coin flips. When I flip a coin, heads or tails, if I flip the other coin, what happened here has no impact over here, okay? So let's look at this jar of marbles. Now, you can pause the video and count if you want, but I'll just tell you there are 20 marbles in here as a whole. So with independent probability, I want to know what the probability of pink and black is. So I'll look and I'll find my pink probability. So I have one, two, three. I have four pink. So I have four possible answers or four true events out of 20 possible events. And now I need to take that and multiply it by the probability of the black marble. Now, Again, I've looked at my pretty pink marble and I put it back in the jar. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I have seven black marbles out of, there's still 20 marbles in here. 20 marbles. Okay, now I'm going to tell you, you need to be lazy when you can be lazy with math and it's lazy to go on ahead and reduce the first is if you reduce on the front side then you're less likely to do it on the end and it's just easier smaller numbers are better so four over 20 i can divide both of those by four and i get one over five and now when i multiply fractions we multiply the numerator then we multiply the denominator so one times seven is seven five times 20 that's a hundred Okay, now we can do this again with the black and yellow. So again, we're going to look how many black marbles are in here. We have seven out of 20 possible black marbles. So seven out of 20 marbles. And I'm going to multiply that by the number of yellow marbles. And I have one, two, three, four. That color is horrible. So we're going to switch. I have four out of 20 yellow marbles. But hey, look, 4 out of 20, I already know that reduces to 1 out of 5. So let's make life easier. And oh, look, that's the same math. 1 times 7 is 7. And 5 times 20 is 100. So those actually have the same probabilities of happening. Now let's look at something different. Let's look at orange and orange. So my orange, I have one, two, three, four, five oranges. So my first orange is five out of 20. Now I've looked at that orange marble. I said, oh, isn't that a pretty orange marble? And then I put it back into the jar. So now how many oranges do I have? Well, I put it back. So I have five out of 20 marbles. Okay, but now 5 out of 20, I, I need to multiply these together. Remember, 5 out of 20 reduces. 5, I can divide by 5 over both of those, and 5 over that would be 1 over 4, and this is the same thing, so 1 over 4. And now I'm just going to multiply numerator times numerator, 1, denominator times denominator, 16. So there is a 1 out of 16 chance that I would pull an orange one, put it back, and then pull another orange one. Make sense? So nothing actually changes because I'm putting it back. Now, pink and pink, we're going to look at, and it's going to be pretty much the same thing. If I count the pinks, I have one, two, 
three, and four pinks. Okay, so four pinks out of 20. And now I'm going to pick another pink. But remember, I'm picking, I'm looking, oh, that's pretty, I'm putting it back. It's with replacement because it's independent. Four over 20. And I'm going to reduce that. One over five. One over five. And that's going to give me one times one is one. Five times five is 25. Okay, so the statistical probability of picking a pink one and a pink one would then be 1 over 25. But wait, if there is an independent probability, there's probably going to be a dependent probability. Now, dependent probability is when the statistics depend on what happens with this marble. Okay, so depend, it's going to depend on what happened the first time. Okay, so let's look at this. We still have 20 marbles in our jar. It's the same jar. I just cut and pasted the center out of it. All right, and we are not going to replace this time. So let's look. We have pink, pink, pink. So the odds of the pink are 4 out of 20. All right, 4 out of 20. Now that reduces to 1 out of 5. Fair enough. Now let's look at the black marbles. Oh, wait, sorry. We took one of the pink ones. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so now it's going to be 7, but it's not 7 out of 20. I've taken one of these pink ones away. So now it's 7 out of 19. And at this point, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. 1, out of seven, or one times 7 is 7, and then 19 times 5. Well, that's not as pretty math, but 5 times 9 is 45. Carry 4, 5 times 1, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that would be 7 over 95. All right. Now let's look at the black and yellow. And we're going to restart. So we have our 20 marbles back again. All of the marbles are back in where they're supposed to be. So this time we have black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I'm going to pull one of the black ones out. And right now I have 7 out of 20. And this one's gone. All right. Now I want to know what the odds of the yellow are. Well, I have one, two, three, and four. Four out of, remember, I took one marble out, so it's four out of 19. So now I'm just going to do this math. But wait, I can be lazy. Remember, we can cross reduce. 4 and 20, I can cross-reduce these. I can divide both of them by 4, so I get a 1 there and a 5 here. Okay, now my math looks much simpler. 7 times 1 is 7. 5 times 19, I already did that up here, 95. Fair enough. All right, let's do one more, maybe two more. We'll see. Let's do one more for sure. Uh, orange and orange. And I like this one because this is where we really get to see things get confusing. So we have one, two, three, four, five marbles. Five out of 20. All right, I don't want to reduce just yet because I want you to see what happens and I want to make sure you're aware of the connection. So now I am going to take one of these marbles out. Boom. Now, what is the probability I will pull a orange marble? Well, it's all changed. Now I only have four orange marbles. So it'd be four over, and there's only 19 total marbles. Four over 19. Okay, well, now I can be super lazy in my reducing. And look, I can cross-reduce. 
So I'm going to cross reduce. I can pull a four out of the four and a four out of the 20. So that gives me five over five, but five divided by five is really just another way to say one. So one times anything, so it'd be one over 19. The odds of pulling two orange out of here would be one out of 19 times. Okay. And look, we can stack this way more than just two revolutions. So let's look at this last, or this last one that we're going to do anyway together is pink, pink, and yellow. So I have pink, 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 pink. So for my first odds, I have four pinks. So four out of 20. And I'm going to take one of those pinks. That one. Now I need to know the odds for my new pink. So the second pink, I'm going to have 3 out of 19. Take that pink. Now I'm going to go with my yellows. And yellow is a horrible color on this background. So yellow, 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 yellow. Okay, so now that's going to be 4 over I've only got 18 left now, four over 18. And now all I gotta do is multiply these together. All right, but before I do that, I wanna get lazy, I wanna reduce up front. I know that I can reduce this by fours. So four divided by four, 20 divided by four, that would reduce to one fifth. And, oh look, I can reduce here as well. Reduced by twos, that would give me two over nine. Um, that looks, oh, I can cross reduce here. One over three. I think that's about as lazy as I can get. All right, so one times one is one. One times two is two. So that's gonna give me a two on top. Now I have five times 19, and I already did five times 19. I've got 95, and now I need to multiply that by 3. So 95 times 3 is going to give me a 5, carry the 1, 27, 28, 2 over 285. So there's your probability. So the big thing to remember with this is independent means it doesn't change. It is independent of what happens afterwards. Dependent means that your probabilities will change because we are not replacing the options. So dependent, you would most likely see something like this where you have a jar and you're pulling a marble out of it. Independent is more like a fair spinner or a coin toss. Uh, another one for dependent, Let, let's think about this, um, a deck of cards. If I pull a random deck of or a random card out of a deck of cards, well, the next card I pull, it won't have that original card in it. So hopefully this helps clarify. Leave a like or leave a comment. Yeah, that's it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, this has been Dependent and Independent Probability. Hopefully it helps out. If not, let me know. Uh, always willing to make more recordings. Either way, uh, have a great day. It's Friday on a long weekend, so enjoy. And I'll see you in class on Tuesday.